everyone, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming for you guys this uh, video that I wanted to do before I left on my trip. I actually did film it and I wasn't happy with it because I did change a few things after I originally didn't have this particular makeup bag. I decided I did not want to pack seven different little bags, so I went out and purchased this bag right here. This is a ginormous makeup bag. I got this at Walmart. It is way more than I needed, but I was very happy with it because I was able to pack all of my things into one bag instead of separating them into several different ones like I usually do. And I really like it. It's huge, obviously, and it has a lot of uh, compartment spaces and places for brushes and everything. So I just wanted to share with you guys um, the things that I took with me on my week-long cruise with my husband for our anniversary. So I showed you the bag. It has a hook here. Um, a clasp you could hook there's like a shoulder strap that came with it I don't wouldn't use it like that so I didn't attach it but it does have those little things on the back this was like $20 I think from Walmart it's not bad um, way cheaper than anything else I could find online and it was nice because it was in stock so basically it just has this big zipper here and so, so when you open it up it's got this cute print on the inside it has the space right here where I packed my brushes and then inside it has these three large compartments and there's several little pockets that you can see on the sides there so this actually stores a lot of makeup and tools if you're someone like me who has a lot and doesn't want to um, yeah wants to be able to pack everything that you want to be able to pack I think this is a really awesome um, bag it's called it's by the brand Modella M-O-D-E-L-L-A I've never heard of it before but it was at Walmart so it was um, pretty inexpensive for the size of a bag and the amount of compartments. In this first pocket, I mostly have like foundation type stuff, concealers, powders. And here I have like the extra stuff like my eyeshadow palettes, face palettes, uh, eyelash curler. And then this is mostly like tools, sprays. There's a little bit of skincare, which I'm going to show you in another video. And um, so that's it. So just I'm just not going to pull this bag out every time to show you something just because it's a very large bag. So, the first thing I want to show you guys is this Garnier BB Cream. I have used this before. It's been several years, actually, since I have used this, and I decided I wanted to repurchase it because I couldn't remember why I stopped using it. I don't know if I just didn't want to pay the $10 or $15 it was anymore for it. It's um, it's really nice. It's got SPF of 15 in it. It's got a nice tone. This is the medium deep. I know I just got back from vacation. I don't have any tan. I had the fake tanner on and spending time in the pool in the hot tub. It just like washed all off and I just kind of gave up trying to reapply. Anyway, so I got this in the shade medium deep because with the tan it's a pretty good match. Just to show you guys. And I don't remember if I showed this to you before or not, but anyway, it's pretty sheer coverage. It's, it's a nice color. Um, it's definitely not a matte finish. It is definitely a very dewy finish which probably won't pick up here. I never have oily skin. I never have oil on my face. But whenever I use this, uh, I do notice that my face is very shiny, which I don't love. So this is really good paired with a uh, powder of some sort. But I wore this most uh, most days on the ship, just going out and about. Just figured it was, it was nice to have something on my face as opposed to nothing. I didn't really wear a lot of makeup on the trip, which for some people it probably was still a lot of makeup because I always fill in my brows. I always wear mascara. I always have some kind of color on my face. Um, usually this and a bronzer or something. So this is really nice. Um, I will say that it has to be reapplied because I wore this when we went riding ATVs in Jamaica and um, the helmet like rubbed off. It rubbed off all around my face so I had to reapply it. Um, which that was kind of to be expected because this is really more of a tinted moisturizer than like a foundation or a primer or anything like that. And then I also wore it again. We went to Cozumel and had like a beach kind of day. And I had just put this on my face. I had a few other products like on my cheeks. And everywhere else it had completely disappeared within the first hour or two. I guess because I was sweating. It was kind of hot. So it's not water resistant um, by any means. But uh, because of that I actually am burnt like all here on my forehead. Uh, a little bit on my nose. A few other areas. Which is the only place that I got burnt because I used so much sunscreen. But I didn't apply sunscreen to my face because I had this on, which I didn't realize it had totally washed off. So, um, But this is really nice if you're not going to be sweating a lot and you just want a little something on your face. This is actually a pretty nice product. It's pretty inexpensive. You get a lot of product. There's two and a half ounces in here. 
So um, it's, it's not bad for being a drugstore option. That being said, the BB kind of product that I love that I use almost every day, like day, night, kind of didn't matter, is this Tarte BB um, Tinted Primer. I think I've mentioned this before on like an empties purchase or Ulta haul or something like that. Um, this is fantastic. I love this stuff. First off, it is a primer, so you don't have to wear a primer underneath it if you're going to use this product. Um, you can use this as a primer, you can use this as a foundation, however you want to use it, you can really, this is a very versatile product and that is why I brought it with me because I knew I could use this and not require any additional like foundation over top of it. Um, it was like a really good all-in-one. This says it's a 12 hour primer, healthy treatment, I don't know what that is. Buildable coverage, I agree with that, it's a, it's a medium coverage I think. It's oil free, it's a pore minimizer and a skin brightener. It definitely has that pore minimizing kind of primer feel to it. Um, so if you don't like that, you may not like this, but this is a really nice option for like a minimal makeup kind of, but still having something on your face. So this is really nice. And I'm just gonna show you. Mine is in the shade medium. I'm just gonna show you. Like that would have done quite a bit. Just kind of rub it in. It's so funny seeing all this against my pasty white hands. <laughs> All the tanners rub off. But um, this does have a more matte like finish when it dries down. Um, so if you prefer that kind of a finish, it's definitely very different from the Garnier one. The next foundation that I'm going to share with you guys was totally not necessary. I think I only wore it one time. I really could have gone without it. But I did pack it in case I wanted extra coverage. And this is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Compact. This is like the solid serum foundation that's what the packaging looks like it has very similar packaging to like a cushion foundation similar it just opens up basically um you just stick your brush in there and then just buff it in. i have mine in the shade tan obviously this will not match me when i am pasty white like this but when i i did reapply the tanner like once or twice and when i did this was fine so i only wore this once i could have totally gone without it but i wanted to have like a travel friendly extra foundation option because yeah, who doesn't like having options? The last foundation type product that I'd like to share with you guys is this Tarte Double Duty Beauty Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation. It looks like this. That's the packaging. I did share this with you guys. I got this in my Ulta haul. Um, I mostly use this over top like a lighter coverage thing like I would use it over over the top of this just to kind of matte it down a little bit, give a little extra something staying power. But I've also used this, I used this twice just as a powder foundation on its own. I used to only wear powder foundations before I ever discovered how to use liquid foundations. And um, this is pretty nice from what I've used. I don't know if it was just the brush that I had that it w I had to use. I felt like I had to use a lot of product to get the um, coverage up. But it was really, really nice. It looked really natural. It was not dry at all, which is my main... Um, drawback for powder foundations for me anyway, but this was a really nice product for that So if you have dry skin and you're maybe interested in checking out a powder foundation Maybe check that one out because it's um, pretty nice. I like that one a lot. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX um, It's like a coconut primer Kathleen lights raves and raves and raves about it. I finally decided to give it a try. This is not the full size. This is um, Was in like the travel section as you're going to check out it's much smaller sizes so I figured that would be a good time to try it, a good way to try it just to try a smaller size of it and see if I like it. It's usually how I try new products especially when they're a little bit more expensive just because I don't want to spend money on a full size product especially an expensive one and then hate it. So I am liking it so far. It's very nice, very moisturizing. I don't have any primers like this um, so I'm very excited to have this in my collection. I have a feeling I will be repurchasing it in the future whenever I run out. For bronzer, I only brought one like bronzer and that's the Tarte, go figure, uh, Park Avenue Princess Amazonian Clay Bronzer. It looks like this. I have the matte one. I have also had the shimmer one, which I do still have some. It's mostly pan and that one. Um, both of these are waterproof bronzers. They're really nice. I haven't actually tested that, but they claim to be waterproof. Um, they just stay all day. It's a really nice bronze. It's just a good a good bronzer to have as a staple, especially if you are not sure where to start looking for, you know, bronzers. It's a very smooth one. I like it a lot. I've actually had the Tarte bronzers for a while now. That's not any kind of new purchase for me. That is a tried and true product for me. 
Keeping in with uh, face products, I did mention these two products in my Ulta haul. I actually purchased these with the intention of bringing them on the trip, so of course I had to. Um, these are the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten uh, blushes in the shades Tropic Hues and Sunswept. So this Tropic Hues one is, looks like this. It's, I love the marbled look in the packaging. That's really pretty. Um, that's not why I bought it. I bought it because I actually like the shade of it. It's this beautiful, see if it can catch the light. It's like a gold shimmer with a coral color there. It's really pretty. And then the other one, Sunswept, is more of a bronzy toned. So this actually could be like bronzer, blush, and highlight all in one if you just wanted a one step kind of thing. Which a lot of days, that's all I wore on my cheeks was Sunswept right there. And you can see that is Tropic Hues and that is Sunswept. I think these are gorgeous. They're so um, pigmented. A little goes a really long way. Fantastic purchases, love them. And the first bin that I showed you guys with all the face products, there's also little pockets on the side and that's where I kept my concealers. And I brought three, which still may be a little bit excessive, but I brought this Urban Decay Naked Skin. This is the color correcting in the shade Peach. And I use this when my eyes are really dark, have really dark circles. It's just a peachy tone concealer. Basically what I do with this is I dot it under my eyes, I rub it in, and it masks that darkness. And then to cover up the peachy color, I go in with a regular concealer. So I, of course, brought my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25 Medium. I figured this would be the one I would use the most out of that one or Deep, just because it kind of matches whether I'm slightly tanned or not. I, I can work with it both ways. And then um, just because I need to get more use out of this Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer, I brought this as well. I use both of these kind of interchangeably. I'm not somebody who wears concealer every day. In fact, I skip it a lot of days, but uh, there we go. This is in the shade Y33. So concealer for me, it's, I mean, it, it probably should be a bigger step, but I skip it a lot of times. A lot of times I forget it. So I try to make myself remember to use it because when I do, like my makeup of course looks better, but a lot of times I just don't use it. I never think to. This is my RCMA translucent setting powder, no color or something or other. I have it in this old Laura Mercier tin from the smaller one when I tried. Uh, I don't really like this powder. It was very inexpensive compared to the Laura Mercier powder. The whole thing which I got is this huge bottle and it was like $12, which was really, really inexpensive for a setting powder, but the packaging absolutely sucks, and I don't like this powder as much as I like my Laura Mercier powder. So just for ease of use, I poured some of that powder into this tin after this one was emptied, and that's how I use it when I use it. I usually don't grab this on a day-to-day -day basis. It's easier to travel with just because it's in a smaller thing, but I do not like this one as much as I like my Laura Mercier. So I will probably never repurchase that powder. This next product is another product that I mentioned in my Ulta haul um, from the 21 Days of Beauty sale. It's this Fiona Styles Contour Kit. Mine's in the shade Light Medium right there. And I mostly use this middle shade to contour, but I have used all three shades as um, like eyeshadow crease colors too. So it's actually pretty versatile. I do like it. I'm still learning how I feel about it. I haven't used it enough to know Yes, this is totally worth it. You should go get it. It's good. I, I do like it. I just don't know if it's something you should run out and get. In the middle pocket that I showed you guys, I have mostly eye products. Um, and some of them are face products. So I'm going to start with the other face product just because we already went through everything else. This is the only other face product that I brought as far as like makeup goes just because it is so versatile. And this is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill um, Champagne Collection Face Palette and it comes with the Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop um, highlighters here and here and then three blushes. And so I find that this was really travel friendly. I of course love Champagne Pop. Champagne Pop was my very first highlighter I ever owned. And since then I have been absolutely addicted to highlighters. And then she came out with um, Prosecco Pop and that's just as beautiful. So this palette really has it all. It, is, it was limited edition. They don't sell it anymore I don't think. Um, but I was able to get my hands on it. I was so excited and I'm glad I did. I will continue to be using that. 
For eyes, I did bring um, two palettes. Actually, I brought three, but I've put one of them up already. This is my Naked 2 Basics palette. This is all matte shades. They're just really good transition shades. Um, I use this almost every day. This was perfect for travel. I already had it in my collection. I didn't go out and get this just for the trip. It is such good quality shadows, um, especially if you're looking for some transition, sh transition shades. Maybe you don't know where to start. Maybe look at one of these Basics palettes. They have the original um, one that goes with the original Naked palette and then this one that's the more cool tone. So I got this one because I have the Naked 2 palette. It's supposed to be coordinating shades there. And then of course I could not leave home without my Lorac unzipped palette that I was so excited to get during that um, Ulta sale. <sighs> Let's just take a moment to enjoy it again. This is obviously my favorite shade. It's the one I have dug in the absolute most, but I do use this shade right up here and these two all the time in my crease. I have um, been playing with some of the other shimmery shadows, but definitely, um, without a doubt, this undiscovered shade is my absolute favorite. I brought two mascaras because... I knew I needed to try one that I got as a free sample. It's the Tarte Man Eater Mascara, and I wore this almost every day. There was only like one or two days that I didn't wear it. And when I wasn't wearing this mascara, I was wearing my Maybelline Big Shot Colossal, which is also really good um, mascara too. So I did not know how I was going to feel about this because I did not try it at all before the trip. I just threw it in the bag. I opened it up while we were gone. I'm actually wearing it today if you can see it does um it's a very good mascara I do like it a lot I don't like it as much as my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara but this is still a really good option for lip products I packed way too many I didn't even wear I think there's only one that I'm not going to show you that I actually wore the rest of the products that I'm going to show you are the pretty much the only ones I wore the entire trip and it was the uh, Sun Bum lip balms in the, sh in the scents coconut and banana right here. These have SPF of 30. They're great. They're really comfortable to wear. They're moisturizing. There's no tint to them. It's just um, just a, a sun protecting lip balm. So I kept those in my bag. And then the two shades that I have, and I'm actually wearing both of them right now. I layered today this um, Tarte Lippy Lingerie, which also came with the Man Eater Mascara and that um, sale. So I got, I wear this and my ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Aquarius. So today I have on this lippy lingerie on my lips and then I topped it with the gloss. For my eyebrows, I packed my trusty Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Soft Brown. I pretty much cannot live without this pencil. There's only one other pencil that I can use and I just, it's not that it's a bad pencil, I just prefer my Brow Definer and it's the e.l.f. one that's got the thicker spoolie. Um, that's fantastic if you're looking for like a drugstore option, but I am a sucker for this one. This is absolutely amazing. And then um, for a brow gel, I brought my NYX and um, it's like a brow mascara. It just says mascara. This is not for your eyes. It's got such a small wand. This is clearly for brows. Oh, it does say tinted brow mascara. It just has this nice little spoolie. I do love my clear brow gel a little bit better as far as a gel goes. But this is such a fantastic little spoolie. It's just so precise. The clear brow gel from Anastasia has a huge spoolie. I don't like the spoolie as much as I do this one. So I think these pair very nicely together. I brought two setting spray, the travel size version of the all nighter setting spray. And I have it in the regular size and I've been using it for a while, at least a year now. And I don't know if they just changed the formula when they changed the packaging, but it smells different. So I think they changed the formula. Um, anyway, it's still a really great setting spray. It just really threw me off that they changed the scent. Um, and then the other setting spray that I have is my Milani Make It Last. I am almost out of that. I do have a backup on standby. So that completes the makeup section of this video. Next, I'm going to show you the tools that I brought with me. And I really tried to... Um, condense it down to do things that could multitask. If you watched my BoxyCharm unboxing, you saw that I got these pure sponges. I brought the little mint one with me. You can tell it's dirty. I only pretty much used this the entire time. Um, after using it for a solid week, I can tell you I do not like it as much as I like my Real Technique sponges. I will continue to use them because I have them on hand, but would I go out and repurchase these? Mm -mm. I like my Real Techniques ones way better because they're softer. This seems to soak up a lot more product. It just doesn't um, blend everything out as evenly. 
they're not bad sponges, but I would not recommend picking these over the Real Technique sponges. I definitely would not recommend this over a Beauty Blender. The first brush that I think was my favorite brush, the one I used the absolute most on this trip, was this Wet n Wild Powder Brush. I got this from like a Walgreens uh, last minute purchase one day when I was, uh, actually I think it was Easter Sunday, I, my bronzer was looking weird and on the way to church we actually stopped and I got this and a Wet n Wild bronzer because we also needed like batteries or something so. Um, but this was really great. I was really glad I had this on the trip because I used this for three different products. I used this in the um, Tarte Powder Foundation. I used this to apply that. I used this for bronzer. And some days I even use this for blush. So this was a fantastic um, brush to have in my uh, stash with me. It, like I said, it was the most used brush that I brought with me. The second most used brush with me that I brought with me was this e.l.f. highlighting brush. I used this for highlighter and I used this for blush. Um, for highlighter, it just gives like a soft, glowy everywhere. It's not for precise highlighting, but it's really nice for blush too if you just want to kind of you know, good on your cheeks. It was really nice for that. I literally used this foundation brush one time. It was the one time I used my It Cosmetics um, serum foundation. I used this brush and that's why I brought it because I knew I was going to need it for that particular one. For the rest of my foundation moisturizer, I used my sponge. I brought Real Techniques contouring brush. I used it with my Fiona Styles contour kit. I used this three or four times maybe on the whole trip, so I really could have done without both of those, but I wanted to have something I could use for that particular purpose. I did bring a more precise highlighting brush just because I didn't want to only be able to generally highlight, you know, because that's, that's a terrible situation to be in. This is just my Morphe M532 brush, and it's just, it's just a highlighter brush. I brought four eye brushes. Um, I probably could have weeded it down to three, but each serves a separate purpose. This um, Morphe M441 is a really great crease brush. I use this for most of my transition shades. I use this probably the most, um, but sometimes I need to do more detailed crease work, and that's where this Morphe M433 comes into play. It's shorter bristles. It gets a little bit more precise for when I don't want to go too high in the crease, so I kind of have to use both of these. I can't just have one. I kind of have to have both. And then I brought a um, flat shader brush. This is just an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. It's like a dollar. And then for my um, lower lash line for the times that I did put shadow there, or I also use this for like my inner corner highlight, this is my Morphe M M326 brush right there. It just looks like that. Um, and that's all the brushes I brought. Some other tools that I brought with me were my uh, Holy Grail Tarte um, eyelash curler. This is the best eyelash curler I have ever used. I I don't think I can use another one. I just, I have to have this one. It curls my lashes so well. And then I feel the same way about these tweezers. I have these Anastasia tweezers. They're slanted, pointy. These get every single hair. They're fantastic. I have tried to use the Tweezerman tweezers, Sally Hansen. I've used all kinds of tweezers and they're all crap in comparison to this. This is like the best tweezers I've ever used. I brought this Sephora color switch and it's basically this tin and it has this like sponge thing and basically what you can do is it allows you to switch between eyeshadow colors, whatever powder. So say this had product on it and I wanted to switch to another color, I just brush it around in here. The powder goes in there, it cleans this brush off ready to use in the next um, the next shadow. So this is fantastic for travel, especially if you don't want to bring any kind of chemical with you. I wanted to bring something else just because I wanted to try, I knew I was going to be multitasking with my brushes. I wanted to have the opportunity to clean them out between uses. And I used it a few times and this is the e.l.f. Uh, just daily brush cleaner. It's just a spray. I just sprayed it on the brush, rubbed it off on a towel. It works fine. I've had so many different kinds of brush cleaner sprays before. This one performed just fine and it was very inexpensive. Okay guys, that completes this video. Um, I'm only showing you, of course, the makeup and the tools that I used. I'm going to be filming a separate video showing the skincare that I brought because not all of it's just for face. I did bring, uh, obviously, some other things with me for this trip and I just wanted to make it a separate video so this would not be like two hours long. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, tap that bell so that you'll get that notification every time I upload a new video so you won't miss out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.